What's up, Leaf Nation? Scott Willits back with another edition of Your Plays of the Week. Four games on the dog this week with the boys going two and two, splitting both of their back-to-backs. Now, Friday night at Scotiabank Arena, it was St. Pat's night, and it was goals galore. The boys put up a seven spot on Brian Elliott, and while it wasn't always pretty, they got the job done. A couple of disappointing results against the Ottawa Senators and Nashville Predators. The boys headed into Buffalo for the last battle of the QEW, and the big boys performed. Goals from Austin Matthews, John Tavares, Mitch Marner, and Zach Hyman saw his head to the weekend with winning ways. And that's exactly where the countdown starts off, in Buffalo with our backup goalie, proving he's coming in clutch. Midway through the first, and it's the least on the man advantage, but it's the Sabres who get the opportunity. A strange bounce off the board springs Johan Larson on the breakaway, but Garrett Sparks is equal to the task, shutting the five-hole to keep the game scores. Number four, it's St. Pat's night at Scotiabank Arena and a crazy night on the ice. Janssen and Matthews break out on the two-on-one where Janssen elects to shoot. Matthews reads the play to perfection and follows the rebound and wires home the seventh lead goal of the evening. Number three, we head back to Key Bank Center in Buffalo. It's the puck along the boards and Tavares sends the no look through the legs pass to a center in Mitch Marner, who, with a little hesitation and poise, Mitch scores his 25th of the season and game winner against the Sabres. Number two, it's Matthews completing the comeback. Number 34 drives hard to the net, forcing a rebound that Willie Nylander collects. And with some hard forward checking behind the net, Willie is able to send a one-handed pass while falling down to an open Austin Matthews, who blasts home the go-ahead goal through the wickets of Ryan Edward. And number one, Mitch Marner collects the puck in the leaf zone and begins to part the seats. Number 16 makes it look oh so easy as he gains the fire zone and then slides it to Zach Hyman for the easy tap-in. And for a little added bonus for our number one play, check out the reaction from Toronto native and huge Leaf fan, Will Arnett in the broadcast booth. Marner along with Hyman and Tavares. Marner works in, hold, sends it back, yes. and they score! So the only thing I love more than Arrested Development is the Leafs. So when you get Will Arnett in the booth, you get the best of both worlds. Okay, now it's time for the Triple H. Hustle, heart, and hard work. And for that, we head right back to here on Scotiabank Arena on Friday night for the St. Pat's game. And when you need a clutch save, you always look to your blue knight, or in tonight, the green knight, Steady Freddy. It's the dying seconds of the third period, and we've gone back and forth with the Flyers all night. It's a coach's nightmare, but if you're a fan, you gotta love it. And with the final seconds ticking down, Steady Freddy comes up with a huge stop on Shane Glass's bear, preserving the comeback win for your Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay, so one of the best things about coming to Scotiabank Arena is buying your 50-50 ticket. Well, guess what? The Toronto Maple Leafs have this brand new promo, and I think it's awesome. You can buy a 50-50 ticket by going to 5050.mapleleafs.com right here on your phone, and you don't even have to be in the building. Whether you're in the building or not, you're still eligible to win the 50-50 grand prize. And the best part about it is all the proceeds go to MLSC Launchpad. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you sign up. Okay. Three games on the dog of this week, an original six matchup Saturday night at Scotiabank Arena against the New York Rangers before the Florida Panthers come to town on Monday night. Before then, we head down to Philadelphia to face off against the Flyers. As always, I'll be back with the top five plays from those three games. Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Scotty Willits and let me know what you love in Leafland. And as always, go Leafs go.